The request by one of my viewers on how I care for my Chanel bags. For the others who haven't seen my collection of vintage Chanel bags, do click on the link below in the description box to go to that video and you will be impressed with how I take good care of all my vintage Chanel bags and how I baby them and they look pristine, right? So let's start with bag number one. This is, I'm starting from the newer bags to the older bags. So this is a black shopping tote that is, as you can see, it is a distressed leather and it is manufactured in 2010, which makes it about 12 years old, okay? So this is my everyday bag, okay? I use this bag practically every day and it's really like um, sturdy and of course my favorite bag. So today it's time to give it a polish. Um, I do baby my bag and I do polish them quite regularly because, um, you know, over here in the UAE, it is fairly dry. So the leather gets a little bit stiff. And how I do that is that you can purchase yourself some leather balm, okay? from shoe stores or you know at the um, grocery store but get yourself a good leather balm and you basically just use a polishing cloth right and um, rub generously all over the bag with this leather balm okay so I use quite a decent amount to moisturize the leather and this bag is actually I think it's um, goat skin um, it is not like the lambskin Chanel bags that I have which I will show you later so distressed leather bags are fairly easy to maintain um, because you know the the leather is a bit crinkled or wrinkled and so when you you don't really see many scratches or, you know, any kind of like um, flaws in it if you are quite rough with it. So this pack, I use it almost every day. Um, it is actually a very good bag to own. So you basically just rub generously all over the bag, okay? Just give it a firm rub and... Um, that's how you get the balm absorbed into the bag, okay? And yeah, I used to use uh, this leather balm that was made with mink oil, but I can't seem to find it nowadays at the um, stores. I am still looking for it. That one really gives it a glow and, you know, it's a bit of a more premium quality balm compared to the generic brands, but the generic brands are just as good um, for maintenance, okay? So that's how I do it. And you can also use it to rub over the leather chain strap because there is leather in between just to moisturize. So it's very important to moisturize the leather bags and um, because I do, do love my Chanel collection, I'm especially careful with it. Um, yeah, it's something, it's a collection that I really love and still continuing to expand the Chanel collection when I'm able to find very pretty and you know 
limited kind of bags, vintage bags really. I look more for vintage bags that are, you know, of very good quality and upkept, upkept well. Um, so, okay, so there you go. I have rubbed it generously all over the leather and yeah. So, there you go. So it, it does feel a little oily to the touch. There you can see it's very shiny now. It does feel a little bit oily to the touch, but just leave it overnight and you will find that in the morning it will, um, the leather will absorb the, the, the oils and it will be fine. And um, yeah, so the only thing is that if you can see clearly, I have a missing or a broken stitch on this bag. And for this particular bag, I did send it for a repair at the Chanel store about a couple of years ago. Mind you, this bag is about 12 years old now. Um, and um, it did cost maybe about $100 just to repair the stitching, but I think because I use it every day and that position just wears and tears the threading, it just seems to keep on um, tearing. But yeah, if you have any Chanel bags that need their stitching replaced, you can head over to your local Chanel boutique and they will advise and provide the service necessary, okay? So this leather bag is now in a tip-top condition. Piece of cake, right? Just to put some leather balm all over it. So now we're going to the interior. So this bag is a sort of like a cloth interior and because it is cream in color, it is quite difficult to maintain on the inside. The outside is really easy, but the inside does stain quite easily. So I refrain from you know, putting any dark colors, uh, pouches, if I can. Um, but yeah, with the stains, what I do is that you get vanish, okay? And this one is for the colored colored clothes and make sure not no no don't buy the bleach that is for white okay it has to be a pink bottle for colored clothes and you can put some in a little spray bottle that you have at home um, I did buy this one from Ikea because I don't have an empty one currently but sometimes I do fill up uh, and recycle some of the old bottles so what I do is that you get some wet wipes and your vanish and it will clean the cloth material, the canvas, pretty good, pretty well, okay? It may not take every stain away, but it will help maintain the, the brilliance of it and, um, you know, and keep it in, in fairly good condition. So I normally just spray onto the wet wipes like that. I do not spray it directly to my, you know, the, the, the cloth material like I do with the clothes. Um, and I just mix it in to the wet wipes. Do not use like a dental wet wipes or any cleaning wipes. Use baby wipes because it's gentle and it does not have chemi much chemicals in it because it's safe for baby. And you just brush through. Just brush through the lining, the cloth lining. If it's leather lining, you would, I would show you again, you will just use the leather balm to clean inside. And you just, you just clean it, like wipe it through. And you will find that with regular cleaning, it will help upkeep your bag inside and out so and it also keeps um the the bag smelling 
nice and fresh and not musky and old because with a lot of vintage bags or you know pre-loved older bags they do tend to have a particular musky smell if you don't keep it or air it well so yeah so that's what i do and um, make sure not to to touch the exterior leather this is purely just for the insides okay so like you can see just for the inside just kind of like wipe it through and if you have any like you know markings or spots you just give it a good rub okay like a good rub and it should help fade it and yeah so and yeah that's how you keep the interior lining in tip-top condition okay and all right so this bag is now ready so i'll just wipe my hands before i touch the bag because i've got all this um, chemicals and bleach on my hands which i don't want to touch my leather and get it all stained i mean like the color you know you get it bleached so okay so this bag is done so this is bag number one as you can see she looks very pretty and fairly new even though she is you know manufactured in 2010 and is almost 12 years old okay so now we will go to bag number two and okay for well this bag it's a vintage it's a vintage camera bag the coco crush bag as you can see okay um she's one of my favorite bags and she was manufactured in 1991 so she is 31 years old you know and um this pretty bag comes with a gold chain strap, as you can see here. And because she is fairly old and she is in lambskin, this bag is in lambskin, um, it is a more difficult bag to maintain. Um, yeah, and so the same thing, the same thing is that I will, you know, put leather balm and balm her right up on the exterior but before i go there um, sometimes the corners of the bag can show some wear and tear okay i have given her a slight polish color polish in the corners but i'll just show you for reference what do i do for the black chanel bags okay um what i do is that i get the black wax the shoe polish you know um they they do sell many in the stores black and brown and neutral colors so this is only applicable if this wax suits the color of your bag so black is a very common color so what i do is that i will basically click it open okay click it open so you take out the foil you can see it's black and I'll get a tissue and I'll just like just dabble just a little bit okay just a little bit of black wax and I will just rub it gently along the corners or where you have wear and tear on your Chanel bags or you can use it for other bags as well okay I do use it for my other bags so I will just go through where I see the wear and tear and you see like the scuffing, scuff marks if there are any. As you can see, I do fill them up with like those little samples that you get when you're at the perfume store to keep it smelling wonderful. So yeah, so that's what I do with the older bags that have a bit of wear and tear in the corners. Okay. So that's done and then after that you will let it just sit and dry for a bit but for the purpose of filming I will just 
show you and just bomb up the whole bag. Okay. Let me just put this away. Just bomb up the whole bag. Every nook and cranny you see. Even inside the pockets. Okay. Be generous with the balm, with the even with the leather chain straps. You know, balm it up. Um, and don't forget pockets. Okay. Fill it up, you know. Give her a nice I'm sorry, I'm just removing some black wax that's on my fingers. Um, yeah. Okay, so how often do I actually clean my bags or give them some TLC, tender loving care? Um, in general, I will do it every four to six months because these bags are my collector's items and I don't use it much, you know, maybe on rare occasions. Um, most of the time they're just stored in the cupboards so there is really no need to clean it so often um, my vintage collection however with the um, the shopping bag i do clean her every month or two okay because i use her every day i use it every day you know um so okay so there we go so that's how i keep you know this baby you know nice and <laughs> tip top condition and yeah so what I do also is that um, because she's kind of old this bag's really old there is a tendency for it to get that vintage smell you know when you walk into a thrift store you always have that vintage smell it's very particular I don't understand um, how it comes about but I can smell it and that's also a plus point on how you can tell it's a genuine vintage. There is that special musky Chanel smell. And so what I do is that I will spray, you know, you collect all the samples. These ones are from Maison 21G. Um, and yeah, this is my particular scent that I created. It's a bespoke uh, perfumery. Um, yeah, so I got this perfume done in Singapore. It's my favorite scent. So. Um, I will just, you know, I kept all these little samples and I'll just spray some on it and I'll just place it inside the bag, inside the lining, okay? So, and it'll just keep it, you know, sweet smelling um, while it's in the cupboard. Sometimes I do take it out to air, um, yeah, but I don't sun the bags, okay? Never sun your bags, especially the black Chanel's because they will definitely fade. And okay, so this is bag number two. And I will show you bag number three. She's also, this bag is also another vintage, but she's in caviar, you know, and caviar is definitely my favorite of all the Chanel bags because it's super, super easy to maintain. And you know, she doesn't really have any scratches, not even in the corners, there's no really anywhere in tear. Okay, and she is also very old. And um, yeah, so what you do is also just bond her all up, you know. She is easy to bond, so easy, because she's already so well maintained and the shine just comes out you know she just radiates after a good wipe and polish okay and what i also came across is that you have to keep all the chain straps inside and of course stuff your bags um, to keep it in shape okay so this is bag number three in the caviar and she's also a vintage 
And so I'll show you my last vintage in one of my oldest bags. So this one is pre-holographic sticker. It's a box bag. It's uh, manufactured 1985 and before. So she's super vintage. And yes, yeah, she's in lambskin, so she, I don't really use her much either um, for fear of making any dents or marks on her. And yeah, so I will give her a polish, um, quick polish so that you can see how shiny she is, okay? And this particular bag comes with a leather strap instead of a, a chain strap, which is fairly unique to me. Um, yeah, so. I will give her a strap a little quick polish before I show you how to polish the beautiful gold logo that is in 24 karat gold plating. Okay, um, the vintage Chanel bags are all plated in really good top quality gold. Okay, so okay, so. For the logos, I like to actually use a jewelry cloth. Okay, and this one is just from Pandora that's in my cupboard. Um, and you just give it, um, okay, sorry, let me just open this. My hands are kind of slippery, hang on, hang on. Okay, so I was able to get it opened and with this polishing cloth, um, you know, I will use the inside, the white bit, and just give all the hardware, the gold hardware or silver hardware, whatever hardware your Chanel bags come in, you know, just give her a really good polish and trust me, your bag will shine, okay, and look gorgeous. So, I mean, who can tell that this bag is over 30 years old, okay? I mean, she's almost, oh, look at it, right? It's pretty. So, yeah, so, I mean, I will do the, you know, I will go through all the hardware and polish it, but I will not do it on this um, filming right now because it does take time. So, well, not. this is how I do maintain all my bags actually but especially my favorite Chanel collection of vintage bags and yeah I hope you found this video informative on how to care for your Chanel bags and if you would like to see more videos on how to maintain your bags or you know any other questions you would like to ask me do comment down below and yeah, if you want to support me and my Lee Beauty family YouTube channel, do subscribe and also give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. So see you everyone till the next one.